Okay, welcome to Sacred Sunday today. Makes me especially happy because originally I thought it was not going to happen. Um, but as you read in my email, was probably what made you sign up as well. Um, I was signed up for a yoga immersion that was supposed to go until tonight and I left early. And uh, that was a beautiful example how like years ago I would have suffered through it to the end, even if things were really not falling into place, not flowing. And there was a lot of resistance. And even though the yoga or the parts of the yoga was good, it wasn't really that amazing that it would have me make up for everything else around it. So I was constantly stuck in traffic jams. There was constantly, and this is really the downside of this paradise becoming so popular that like wherever you go now, it's so hard to find really quiet, sacred space. And so even if you go to a yoga studio, we used to sit in these beautiful yoga studios and really create a sacred space and really have this feeling of community. And now even yoga teachers are just rushing from one class to the next. And you know, and you're like, oh, I came over here and do you have time for a tea, coffee? Like everybody's like, no, I have to go teach a private, no, no, no. So it was, this whole thing has shifted so much. and. And I thought, anyway, I'll make it a nice weekend for myself and I save on tra traveling back and forth. And, you know, the traffic is so bad right now. And of course, they're even fixing the road, so it makes it worse. So I booked myself a room and the room was like right next to the road in like not even the main part, but like a little bit away from the center. And there was just like traffic constantly, like until like past after midnight and I couldn't sleep. And I was really like, yeah, I was really disappointed, disappointed about all the changes here and how it's really beyond our control. And it's really not why we came here in the first place. But then I also thought like, well, wait a minute, I have a choice. I can also just, you know, let it be and, you know, not struggle and not resist and not be upset about the traffic and the noise and everything and just go home and do what I love to do, which is teaching my sacred Sunday. So here I am. And uh, and I think this is so important, like I wrote in my email, it's like, we do have all the time the freedom to choose. And this whole practice of yoga, really the intention of yoga is self-study. There's a word for it, Swadhyaya. And, uh, you know, and self-study, not in a sense that we become more self-absorbed and egoistic. You know, people always say like, oh, I have to let go of my ego. Yes, of course, we don't want to be all the time in the ego. But if we don't first study ourselves and know what we need, what we need to, sh what we want to shift, um, what our goal is, how we can even intelligently reach that goal, well, then how are we going to make any decisions? So then we're just bouncing, oh, maybe here, maybe there, back and forth, and we easily get lost. So I think... For me, the goal of yoga is really to first ask myself, like, what is it? What do I need? Why are things not flowing? Flow for me is always a really good indicator that things are not right. Because many times in my life, things are flowing. And when things are flowing, I know this is meant to happen. And I'm really not somebody who like quits easily or runs away. I used to do that too. But so now it really comes from like a different place. It really comes from a centered place of like, what's the best choice I can make right now for myself and for everybody else too because I also don't want to go to the to the workshop and just be annoyed and complain or anything like that you know so if you find yourself in these situations maybe also notice how the practice of yoga has maybe helped you or shifted things in you because again and again, we're like peeling away all these layers of not being aware of just being reactive, of just reacting from old stories. And the more we study ourselves, the more we practice being centered, the easier we can, you know, make a decision. Maybe it was the right decision, maybe not. It feels good. I was really happy to come home. And it's not even about that. It's make a decision and move on. So without the drama and all the back and forth that I used to have. So today's practice will be a twisting practice. And twisting is always really nice because in order to get to the deeper layers of ourselves, we also need to let go of all the stuff, all the stories, all the things we still carry. And that kind of weighs us down. And twisting is energizing, purifying. So that's a good start. 
And I want to include as well uh, a little bit of breathing practice today, which is again going to be Kapalabhati breathing. Most of you are also in cold climates right now. It's a very um, warming breath as well. And it's actually more of a cleansing, purifying practice than considered a classic or traditional breathing practice that is really, really effective and good. So we're going to do uh, three rounds of Kapalabhati breathing as well. So close your eyes as you find your seat. And even just like, how are you sitting in your seat? You know, asana means seat and it's really developing or cultivating a steady seat. Same thing when we have a steady seat, it's when we are connected to ourselves, when we are kind of grounded within ourselves. For that, we need to draw in, travel inward, look inward, do the work, and then we can reach out into the world from a much more centered and connected and less reactive place. So right now, as you're sitting with the eyes closed, invite your breath in and out of your nose. Try not to change anything about it. Just welcome the breath as it is. Breath is always a good indication, so notice does your body or your system, your whole physical body feel calm today or do you feel rather restless, do you feel energized, what's going on for you right now, three levels always, physical body, emotional body, mental body, because even if our body maybe is calm and grounded our mind can be super active and busy and we're checking in at the beginning of practice so that we really fear the effects of our practice because that's vinyasa vinyasa is a sequence an intelligent sequence that brings us to our goal and the goal for today is purification, letting go, and energizing the body. And please take your hands together in front of your heart. And let's begin with one sound of OM. Nice full big breath in. Oh. And then slowly release your hands and gently open the eyes as I'm moving over onto my mat. Good. We'll start in a comfortable seat that you are already in. Have your right shin in front of your left shin. If you want to sit on a pillow, you can, but it might actually feel nice to, uh, to sit down and really feel the sit bones rooting down into the floor. Good. So as you inhale, twist to the right, press into the fingertips and lift the chest. As you exhale, come back to the middle. Inhale, pressing down, lengthen, look to the left. And exhale, release. And keep going in your own breath. So you're always lengthening the spine gently, twisting on the inhale, on the exhale, coming back. Inhale. And exhale. You can move slow. You can move faster. Most important, move in a sense that you feel connected. Breath and movement synchronized. Good. Let's do one more time each side. Coming back to the middle. Now inhale, lift your arms all the way up. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, once again, twist to the right. Press down and this time stay here also for your exhale. And gently draw the belly back towards the spine. Good. 
and then slowly release exhale inhale lift the arms up and exhale twist over to the left hands pushing down into the knee and into the back with every breath twist a little bit deeper good and then come back to the middle on the exhale inhale float the arms up as you exhale gently fold forward push the floor away breathe into the back body so in between the twisting and the purifying and the squeezing out we also always want to just fold and rest and we adjust and then slowly walk your hands back and switch left shin in front of your right inhale float the arms up and once again exhale lengthen and fold push the floor away Good, and then slowly come all the way back up. And once again, cross your shins. We're going to come now into the Kapalabhati breathing. So feel free to sit on a block or pillow if you like. So for those of you, or for all of you, as a reminder, when we do Kapalabhati breathing, we're going to do it about 30 seconds. The emphasis is on the exhale and we're pulling the navel back. The inhale kind of happens automatically. I'll guide you through. And um, at the end of the Kapalabhati, we take an inhale and then we're going to lift the pelvic floor and bring the chin to the chest and hold the breath. Now, when we hold the breath, we all have a different capacity. At any time when you feel like, oh my gosh, this is too much, you can completely release your bundles, lift your head and exhale and wait for everybody to get there. So again, you know, you never want to get dizzy. Yes, it is called skull shining breath because it brings awareness to the forehead, but be as gentle or as slow as you need to be. So when we do the exhales, you can go faster or you can go slower. I'll show you. Um, yeah, I think you probably can see. So I'll show you just a little demonstration. You inhale with the nose and there's like, So it happens kind of automatically with the emphasis on pulling the navel back on the exhale. All right, so let's close the eyes and you can rest your hands anywhere it's comfortable. Let's take a full big breath in, full breath out. Only breathing through the nose again, full big breath in. Exhaling completely. Now inhale three quarters of your breath and begin. And then release. Inhale. Drop your chin, lift up your pelvic floor, hold the breath, chin to the chest, keep the shoulders relaxed, just hold the breath as best as you can. Feel it swirling around in your body. When you exhale, release and lift your chin. Good, and then take a nice full big breath in. And exhale completely. Second round. Inhale three quarters of the breath and begin. Mm -hmm. 
let it go. Inhale, full big breath. Drop the chin, hold the breath, lift the pelvic floor. Hold it, hold it as best as you can. Navel is pulling back. Keep the face soft, relax the shoulders. When you need to release, release any time. Full big breath in and exhale. Releasing. Last round, round three. Inhale, three quarter of the breath. Begin your Kapalabhati breath. Exhale completely, let it go. Inhale a nice full big breath. Lift your pelvic floor, drop your chin to the chest. Hold the breath as best as you can. Feel the length in your neck. Let the shoulders relax. When you're ready, release the bundles. Keep the eyes closed. Place your hands into your lap and just feel a breath. So again, Kapalabhati breathing, skull shining breaths. It's said to really bring uh, lightness to the brain, energy to the brain here. Good, beautiful. All right, wonderful. Inhale, lift the arms up. As you exhale, bring your hands forward and come onto your hands and knees. Now we're going to start to flow and stretch it out. So place your hands underneath your shoulders. Knees are tucked. As you inhale, drop the belly and look up. As you exhale, draw the belly in and round. Inhaling, arching. And exhaling to round. One more time, inhaling, arching. As you exhale, round and sit back onto your heels. Have your knees slightly separate. Make fists. Place those fists kind of above your hip bones into the lower belly. So with your knuckles, it's almost as you're digging in a little bit and you're lifting the organs a little bit up. Take a nice full big breath in. And then exhale, fold forward. And if you want, and if it feels good, you can gently circle your fists in your belly. Or just press a little bit. So this also just stimulates your organs, your digestion. Good, and then let that go, release. Place your hands and come up into downward facing dog. And stretch out your legs. Good, and then bend the knees and slowly walk your feet forward. Have your feet about two, two feet apart, um, or two fists apart, I should say, so you can measure with your fists. Have your knees bend, let your belly rest. And shake out your head, yes, and no. So if there's any tension in the neck, sometimes we hold the shoulders when we're focusing on something, let it go. Good, and then shake out the arms. Keep drawing the navel in as you press into the feet. Roll yourself all the way up to stand. Beautiful. Turn your palms to face forward. Let the shoulders relaxed, face soft. And again, asking yourself, what are you inviting in? What qualities do you want to cultivate with your yoga practice today and any day? There's always our intention of the day and there's always the bigger picture of why are we doing this practice? Beautiful. From here, inhale, float the arms all the way up high. As you exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to come back to the middle. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhaling up, palms together, exhaling to the right. Inhale, palms together, exhaling to the left. Inhale to the middle, exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale to lengthen. As you exhale, step your left foot back and drop your knee. One breath. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale your hands to the floor and step back, downward dog. Bend your knees. Inhale, roll forward, push up position. Exhaling back. Inhaling, rolling forward. Exhaling back. Last time, inhale to roll forward. Neck is long. Really feel your belly, feel your core. Push back through the heels. We're not going to go down into Chaturanga. Just stay here. Neck is long. Pull the belly back. Exhaling, downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Right knee comes down. One breath. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Once again, inhale, float the arms up. Palms together. Exhale to the right. Inhale, palms together. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, your heart lifts. Exhale, right foot steps back. Drop your knee. One breath, lifting up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back. Inhale, to roll forward. Hold, stay, breathe. Push back through the heels. Keep your head lifted. Really, really drawing the belly muscles in. Exhale, back down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, step your right foot forward, left knee down. One breath. And exhale, hands to the floor, step forward. Inhale, lifting your chest, soft knees as you exhale, fold it down. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the middle. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, lift onto the fingertips. Exhale, step your left foot back. Now press into your feet, your back knee is lifted. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale to the right. Good, look over your right shoulder. Hold the arms here. Inhale as you exhale, bend the left knee a little bit more. Inhale to come up and exhale, bend. Oops. Draw into your belly. Exhale this time, drop your left knee down. Bring your right hand to the left thigh and your left arm reaches all the way up high. Beautiful. Really feel that deep stretch on the left side. Nice. From here now, bring your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. This is already where maybe you want to use a block. Let's see. Keep your back toes tucked. Really create the space for your twist. Press into your palms. Stay here. You could also make a fist. Sometimes it feels really nice to press the fist down and see how I can open my chest even more. Another option could be to place my hand onto the block. For me, it's a bit too much for my shoulders, so I choose the variation with the fist. Breathing deeply. Stay here, or if you want to go even deeper, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee off the floor. Come into the full twist. Good. All right. Hands to the floor. Step back. Ooh. All right. Bend the knees. Inhale. Roll forward. Exhale to come back. Inhale. Roll forward. Exhale to come back. And this time, inhale. Roll forward. Exhale. Drop your knees. Hug the elbows and chest chin to the floor. Slide forward into cobra. Press into your hands. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. Give yourself a moment here. Breathing. 
and then lift your left leg up, step your left foot forward. Now press into your feet, reach the arms up, open to the left. So you really want to twist from your hip, from your navel. Good. Inhale to straighten, exhale bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, drop your back knee. Your left hand goes to the right thigh. It could also be the lower back. And your right arm reaches all the way up. Feel that deep stretch. And then keep the space here. You can even take your left hand and kind of pull the flesh over. Bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Press into your palms. Maybe make the fist into the palm again. Maybe bring your hand onto a block and lift your left arm up, which is quite intense. Stay here with your back knee down or if you want to go into the full pose, lift up through the back here, back knee off the floor. One more breath. Good. And then exhale. Let that go and step back. Ooh. Inhale to come forward. Exhale to come back. Inhale to come forward. Drop your knees. So this is optional. You can always stay in plank pose. And then maybe exhale, chest, chin to the floor. Slide forward, roll the shoulders back. Lift your hands. And exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Breathing deeply. Good. Bend the knees, look towards your hands. Walk, step or jump forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up, and exhale, release the arms. Turn your palms to face forward, close the eyes, breathe, feel. So we've done a little bit of twisting already. Maybe you already feel a sense of vibrancy or something loosening in the belly. Bring the energy back into your core. So we're drawing in, but then there's also a softening from that knowing yourself. Much easier also to then soften and trust to go out into the world. All right. When you're ready, hands onto your waist. Bring your right knee to your chest, out to the side, and let's find tree pose. So steady gaze in front of you, lift the arms, find your expression of tree pose. There's a softness, but there's also like a firm standing in the world, being rooted. And then from here, inhale, lift the arms up, bring your knee forward, flex the foot, and then take it back into a warrior three. Spread the toes of the right foot. Find your arm variation. Maybe arms next to your body, pulling back. Maybe arms out to the side for more balance. Maybe arms forward, whoops, for more challenge. Maybe hands at the heart as a beautiful gesture. Good, lift the leg a little bit higher. Step back. Ooh, open the arms. Warrior two. Great. Flip your left palm up. As you exhale, straighten the front leg, left hand onto the shin. Take your right arm up into the sky. So if your chest is forward, can you create more openness? Can you lean back, even if what's behind you may be a little bit unknown? You can't look behind you back can you still trust maybe extend the arm over your head for a really good lateral stretch energizing beautiful 
press into your foot inhale to come up turn your left toes in turn your right toes out and open into warrior two interlace your hands lifting the chest as you exhale fold forward Good. Press into the feet. Inhale. Come back up. Open the arms. Exhale. Switch. Card with your hands to the floor. Step back. Inhale. Come forward into push up position. Stay or move through the vinyasa. I'll choose to stay. Drawing the navel back. And then exhale. We all meet in downward facing dog. Stretch out your legs. Keep the knees a little bit bent, really, really engaged. So press into your fingertips, into your knuckles. Stick your butt all the way up high. Face is soft, ears between your arms. Nice big breath in, exhale through the mouth. Bend the knees, look towards your hands, walk, step, or jump forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up, palms facing, exhale, release. Second side, hands onto the waist, left knee comes up, out to the side, and you're going to find tree pose on this side. Foot is pushing into the leg, leg is pushing into the foot. Again, coming to your center. Once you find your center, reach out spread your wings or your branches like a beautiful strong tree Can you imagine really embodying the quality of this really deeply rooted tree and then inhale lift the arms up bring the knee forward as you exhale, stretch the left leg all the way back. Spread your toes. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Find your arm variation. You had a couple of choices. Notice how the inner arch of the right foot wants to drop. Keep it strong. Good. Lift the left leg a little higher. And then step back. Open the arms. Warrior two. Flip your right palm up. Exhale, straighten the front leg and come into Trikonasana. Head can look down or look up, wherever feels good for your neck. Optional, you could stretch your left arm over your head. Good, inhale to come up. Bring your right toes in, turn your left toes out. Open the arms, interlace your hands. Inhale, lifting the chest. On the exhale, fold forward. Press into the feet, inhale, come up. Turn your left toes in, right toes out. Open the arms and then cart your hands to the floor, stepping back. Inhale, forward into plank pose, push up position. Walk the feet together, squeeze your legs together. Place your left hand a little bit closer to your face and come into side plank. And if you need to, you can also drop the bottom knee and bring the foot out a little bit makes it a bit easier otherwise both legs straight exhale release right away roll onto the out edge of the right foot maybe drop the right knee breathe exhale release drop your knees to the floor child's pose Good. Breathing deeply. 
Roll a little bit over your head, massaging your forehead. Most important, let the belly melt. <sighs> and breathe. Maybe exhale through the mouth a couple of times. <sighs> this is intense work. Twisting. It's very energizing. Really steering up all the stuff that's getting stagnant. So it can also be emotional, of course. So just allow whatever comes up to flow through you. With that acknowledgement, you can let it go. And then slowly come up. Place your hands. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Step your left foot forward. Right heel comes down. Cargo your arms into warrior two. And then bring your left toes parallel. Stretch the arms out. So this is a good way to measure your stance. You want to have a line from your elbow to the ankle. So if your feet are too wide or too short, you can adjust. Okay. Good. Beautiful. Also important, you don't want to jam the knees back. You want to rather also engage the muscles of your legs. It's like you're pulling the kneecaps up to give you stability. All right. So arms out to the side. Release your right hand. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, back to the middle. And then this time, left hand outside your right ankle. Inhale, come up. This time, exhale, right arm over your head. Inhale, back to the middle. Exhale, right hand to left ankle. Keep going. Inhale, left arm over. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, left hand to the ankle. Inhale, exhale, right arm to the left. Inhaling up, exhale, right hand. One more time, each side. You'll catch it at some point if you're a little bit lost. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, right arm over. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come back to the middle. Give it a moment here. Let the shoulders relax. <sighs> now this time we come into the twist again, but we're going to hold it. So you can bend the right knee, bring your left hand to the outside of the right foot and your right arm up into the sky. Maybe the knee needs to be bent. Maybe you can straighten both legs. You decide don't compromise the opening of the chest. Ideally, you want to have your hips square. So if you're too much back there, bring your hips square. Reach up through the right fingertips. Press down into the feet. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release the arms. Roll the shoulders a couple of times. Okay. Ready for the other side. Open the arms. Inhale. Bend the left knee. Exhale. Right hand outside of your left foot or ankle. See if you can straighten the leg. And if you're too much crooked, lead from your heart. Square your hips a little bit more. Left arm reaches up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. And then release. Look down to the floor. Walk your hands forward like a downward facing dog. Stick your butt all the way up high. Stretch it out. Good. And then slowly walk your hands back. Walk your hands forward and step your right foot next to your left. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale, lift the arms up, lift your heels. Exhale, release it down. So again, inhale nice and slow, come onto the toes, heels are lifted. 
exhale, coming down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Next time we stay up, inhale, come up, draw the belly in. So be really aware of your center, your core. See how you can balance in the world from that strength. And then begin to bend the knees and slowly come all the way down. Now, there's a pose we haven't done in a long time. I want to throw in today. It's completely optional. I actually have to move back a little bit. So I would like to offer side crow today. If side crow is not in your practice, Either play with it, try it, or just stay here and balance on your toes. You will get a good toe stretch here. So this is a good pose as well. If you want to do side crow, you can watch me first. You bring your knees together. So it's a, it's a lot of oops, drawing in. Place your hands. Same thing. You've got to take that flesh out. Spread your fingers. Don't look down. Look forward. Make a shelf. Look forward, look forward, squeeze your legs together so you can lift your feet up. From here, maybe come into the full pose. Maybe not. Come back to the middle. Stay here, breathe, and then try the second side. So the key is I used to freak out about this pose because I never trusted my arms, but it's a lot core and just squeezing in like crazy and looking forward so you can draw the shoulders back instead of looking down and being round. Try the other side. Hands come down or just stay in the middle and balance. Just don't check out. Give it a try. Maybe you just try this. See how that feels. Maybe you lift your feet. Maybe, oops, I can't do it on this side. Maybe you straighten the legs. Woo. All right. And then come back to the center and everybody woo, just sit down. All right. Woo. I'm certainly sweating a lot. Good. We're not completely done yet with the core. So now come, please, to lie on your back. But we're gonna stretch it out now. Arms next to your body. <sighs> Touch with your middle finger to the heels. Give yourself a moment here, just releasing and resting. Maybe move the knees a little bit side to side. <sighs> Good, no rush. When we're rushing things, we're not really coming from the center often. We're just then getting into this place of just responding, reacting. And so many times that's without reflection or without any space to really think. So that's why, you know, take the child's pose, take the moment to breathe before going into a meeting, into a conversation, into a project, give yourself that space. So, arms next to your body, press into your feet. Inhale, float the arms and the hips up. Exhale, slowly roll yourself back down. Inhale, lifting up, nice and easy. Connecting again, movement with breath. Inhaling. All the way up and exhaling all the way down. Last round, inhaling all the way up, exhaling all the way down. Good. Bring your arms out to the side. It can also be cactus arms, depending on how much space you have. Bring the knees to the chest and then above the hips. So you can see your toes, so the feet are a little bit higher. Scoop the belly in, really flatten your back, like press your back body down. And then inhale to the right, exhale back to the middle. Inhale, knees towards the left, 
exhale back. It doesn't need to go far. Inhale to the right. Notice how the shoulder wants to lift. Keep the shoulder pressing down. Find your rhythm. Inhale out. Exhale back. Inhale out. Exhale back. Last time. Each side. Good. Come back to the middle. Hug the knees in. Rock a little bit back and forth. All right. Now, place your feet down. Take your hands underneath your buttocks. And then lift your legs up so you want to have some nice padding. Legs are straight. Flex the feet. Scoop the belly in again. We're working all the deeper abdominal muscles. So as you inhale, lower your legs as best as you can. Exhale, lift them up. Inhale to lower. Three more times. Let's do two more. Great, you did it. Hug the knees into the chest. And then release your feet to the floor. Touch the soles of the feet together. Place the right hand onto the belly, the left hand onto your heart. It's not an easy choice to live this life with awareness and to ask the questions and, you know, to do the practice, to be disciplined, you know, but it's very rewarding, I find. And it really, really gives us a lot of freedom and really to tap into the freedom of making choices, making choices that really serve yourself so much better than choices with you do out of reaction impulse. So give yourself a little moment here. Honor yourself for your efforts, your strength. Your steadiness, your discipline as you're living this beautiful, magical life. Good, and then slowly release. Bring the knees together, walk your feet to the edges of the mat, and release your groins. Good. And then from here, rock yourself all the way up to seated. <sighs> Shake out your legs. And then bring your Oops, one moment. Bring your right foot inside your left thigh. Lift the flesh up from your left cheek. Sitting nice and tall, walk your hands all the way over to the right. Pressing down, look over your right shoulder. Press down, inhale, lifting the arms up. Twisting over the left leg now as you exhale, come forward with your right hand outside of your left shin or your left ankle. Good. 
and then inhale to come back up bring your right foot in cross your wrists so your left hand goes to the little toe side your right hand to the big toe side sit back a little bit and then push the foot forward pull the shoulders back so you get this really beautiful stretch in the back of the leg chest is lifted breathe now keep holding on to the uh, with your left hand to the outside of the right foot and then release your right arm and take it back sit nice and tall so if you're too much in the back and you can't have a straight spine then come a little bit more forward draw the shoulder blades towards each other on the back nice and then release right foot outside of the left knee keep the left leg long if this is where you're at today or if you like bend the knee have your left foot outside of the right hip right fingertips behind inhale lengthen you're really pressing down to create the length and then exhale twist and look over your right shoulder you could also go for a bind it's not for me but just to give you option maybe touch your thumb and index finger into a mudra for strength yana mudra and breathe Lean your head back. Slowly release on the inhale. Exhale, counter twist. Let that go. Straighten your legs in front of you. Shake them out. Bring the left foot inside your right thigh. Take the flesh from your right cheek. Walk your hands all the way over to the left knee. Good, and then press down, inhale, lifting the arms up. Turn over towards the right and fold as you twist a little bit over the right leg. Your right hand is outside, left hand is pulling on the foot or the shin or the anchor. Breathe. You choose how far you go, which variation. You could also bring your right hand to the left eye or even foot connecting to your strengths to your power and that power often lies in your ability to trust and soften press down to come up place the foot in front crossing the wrist Push the foot forward, sit tall, draw the shoulders back, breathe. <sighs> nice. And then hold on to the outside of the foot, release your left arm. Maybe come a little bit higher, push the foot forward as you look over your left shoulder. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Good. And then exhale, release. Left foot outside of the right knee. Keep the leg long or bend the knee only if both sit bones come to the floor. Sitting nice and tall. Bring your left fingertips behind. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Up here, twist over to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Thumb and index finger go together. Squeeze the other three fingers. Yana mudra, mudra for strength. And then from here, release. Exhale, hands over to the right side. Good, and then come back to the center. Straighten your legs in front of you, shake them out. Lift the flesh from underneath. 
bend the knees. Inhale, lifting the arms. So push down, lengthen, 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 reach. Keep the legs as you fold forward. Scoop the belly in that feels really, really good, like when we do the forward fold. And then from here, straighten your legs if you can, or just give yourself a hug with the knees bent. And slide your hands back towards you and feel how that creates more length. Notice how the feet want to kind of um, thicken, so you want to really have the balls of the feet in line and push evenly into the wall or the imaginary wall in front of you. Nice. Melting, being, allowing. And connected to the center. Press down to come up. Slide the soles of the feet together. A little bit ahead of you, slide the hands on the knees so you can fold forward. Forehead. Melting towards the heels. And then slowly release, come all the way back up and into a comfortable seat for your meditation. My goodness, I'm so German right on time. <laughs> so find your seat, close the eye. As you find your seat also, really feel your center first and notice how when your spine feels nicely aligned how maybe you feel more balance in your seat or it's just easier to find the asana the steady seat and the goal of yoga asana was always to prepare the body actually for the ultimate practice which is to sit still or to move into stillness to sit and meditate. So if you have your own meditation practice, feel free to stick to that. Otherwise, I like to focus on sensations. One thing I learned also in the Pasana meditation to really watch, observe any sensations, thoughts, stories as much as tingling in the body and just allowing it all to flow through you without holding on to any of it or responding to any of it. And allowing the breath to breathe you, no need to control the breath. Your body, your breath knows what to do. If you like a point of focus, you can focus on the center of your belly, your navel, and just watch, observe how with every breath, the navel pulsates in and out. Always there, something you can rely on, something you can trust, your breath.
notice the quality of your stillness today. Maybe sometimes we do a practice that really allows that or helps us to sit more calmly. Sometimes the opposite ha happens. And then from here, very slowly, early, and come to lie on your back for Shavasana. And as you come to lie, Roll your head a little bit side to side. Feet are falling open.
slowly begin to deepen your breathing. Gently moving your fingers and your toes. And stretching your arms over your head. Giving yourself a good long stretch. Hugging the knees into the chest. Gently moving side to side, back and forth. And then rolling over to your favorite side. Left side is the feminine side, the inside, the softer side. And then from here, when you feel ready, find your way back up into a nice comfortable seat. Keep the eyes closed. Again, sitting tall, scanning your body, noticing the effects of today's practice. Maybe a sense of release, maybe a sense of purification. Notice how your mind feels now. Maybe something has settled. Maybe you feel more spacious. So the question is always like, what is our goal and how do we move intelligently towards that goal? And we do that in yoga as we do the sequence of poses and how we align them together so that we get to the desired sense in the body or feeling in the body, but we can also take that from the yoga mat into the world. And in order to do that, we need to know ourselves better. We need to know what triggers us. We need to know what we desire, what supports us so we can choose. And we have the freedom to choose and we have the freedom to grow and to change our minds. Please take your hands together in front of your heart. A moment of gratitude to yourself for showing up today to this practice, to the community. Your energy is very much needed and appreciated. Let's close and see our practice with one last sound of Om. Nice big breath. Oh. And thank you so, so much for joining me today. I wish you really beautiful rest of your day, rest of your evening, beautiful start of your week. Namaste. Thank you.